Cardboard rolls that come from the inside of coiled up rolls of paper are usually thrown away. Don't do that. They're very good for making lots of things, including skittles. There we are, a line of cardboard roll skittles. Fair enough, but what do you knock them down with? Well, almost anything. But here's an idea for the other cardboard tubes you might find, a cardboard ping pong ball cannon. What you need is two of these things, one of which will fit snugly inside the other, and they're not really terribly hard to find. They're mostly made to the same sort of size. There we are. That white one is sliding pretty snugly inside the grey. Don't know what this one came from, but you get the best results, I think, from raiding the kitchen and getting old lunch wrap uh, rollers and old aluminium foil rollers, because very often they go together. There we are. That one's sliding neatly inside there. Now, if they don't, if they're a slightly loose fit, you don't despair because... Well, you can see, that's a slightly loose fit there. It's close enough, but by winding masking tape around the end and a couple of thicknesses like that, I've made a pretty good airtight seal. It still slides, but it doesn't let any air through. And you can test that by putting them together, putting a hand on one and blowing in the other. And that's airtight, and that's going to be a good cannon. Well, even better are these tubes. Pretty thick, and all I've had to do to make them really close is to wind a bit of that uh, shiny, transparent sticky tape on like that. And that's a very good fit indeed. OK, that's the basis of my cannon. And really, it works much like a bicycle pump. We press the piston in, it builds up pressure, and eventually poofs a ping pong ball out the end, providing the ping pong ball will fit in there. The trouble is, if you just loaded it up like that and pumped, all the air would escape past the ping pong ball. So we have to do a couple of other things, which require a, uh, a balloon and a couple of rubber bands and a pair of scissors. This is what you do. Take the balloon and cut it across at the thickest point, just there. And be careful because you're going to use both sides of the balloon. Here we go. Now one side doesn't have the neck. It's the end of the balloon. We'll do that first. We put that on the thinner tube, the one that goes inside. So let's take that, stand it up there, and stretch this part of the balloon tightly over the back end. There we go. That has to be an airtight seal, so I'll hold it on and then trap it with a rubber band. Once, twice, and probably three times will do it. That's got to be airtight. Let's test it. Extremely so, and we can put that aside and get on with the other half, which is here. Now, provided that a ping pong ball can actually travel down it, that's uh, the part that we need. And we use the other end of the, rubber, of the uh, balloon and stretch it over this end like this. Make sure it's good and tight, otherwise the ping pong balls won't come flying out. And make sure that the neck is right in the middle. I'll turn that up so you can see it right in the middle, otherwise it shoots crooked. Same sort of thing, get a rubber band and trap that on so it's going to be airtight too, apart from the hole in the middle, which is going to be blocked with ping pong ball. There we go. And just to make sure that the ping pong balls can actually get out, turn that around and cut off the neck about there. And what's going to happen, if we've done it right, and you may have to adjust the tensions and things, is that when a ping pong ball is blown into that with a piston, you can see it forms an air seal there, and the ping pong ball can't get out because of the rubber. With enough pressure behind it, it should be held there for a while and blown out with some force. And that pressure comes from the handle, this bit here. So you put your hand on the end there, hold it like that, and give it a good push, and one skittle knocked down with one ball. So that's a single shot cannon. But we can do even better than that. Because if you've got a long barrel there, you can load it up with several ping pong balls. I'll try four. One, two, three, four. Adjust the tensions and you should have at least a repeater, possibly a machine gun.